Well, it certainly feels like fall out here. See, ooh, is that, is that poon? It's like a poon right there. Well, I'm gonna have to hop in the kayak if I magically hook one. I don't know. Looks suspicious. But let's give this a go. Get out there and see what's doing. Let's go for it, kids. Around the beach zone a little bit. Bait's here, so that's good. Trolling down in 10 feet of water. Let's see if I bump into anything, man. Keep one eye. I feel like I'm in a good distance. Close enough, I could see something going down on the beach. And I'm out here enough, and I'm in a good depth just past the sandbars. So hopefully something's down in here. That's all this stuff. Spanish? Bait? All right, we got some bunker. Gonna try to snag a couple. Let's see what I can do, man. Too bad. Big enough. Oh boy, should be interesting. Either way, right? Not gonna go too far. So that bunker runs five to 10 feet down. Maybe I should take another crank or two. There we go. We want the thick schools like that. Tarpon. It's a tarpon. Pulled the hook on him. Didn't die. It did. Get around. Ha ha. Ah, it sucked. Ah, uh, get around with that, and I hooked him on the fucking shad, man. All right, well, I found some fish here, and like, there's some pods of peanut bunker, bunker, whatever the hell you want, Menhaden, that guy, pogies. He hit it like as I dropped it down under this school, though. That's the other thing. And it's like, I'm trying to jig, you know, a little bit under the school. I know they probably want it. It's like you gotta grab their attention on the drop. Didn't see it. Big, that's all I know. All right, I'm gonna do something that's probably a really bad idea, but I think what's going on here is there's all this bait up top and the actually our predatory species is underneath them. Really hate trying to use live bait here, but I think it might be the right call for this situation, so let's give this a try. I'm pretty confident everything I'm gonna find here on bait is gonna be shark related, but you never know, you gotta try. This is how I use the live line stripers, man. There's really nothing to this two ounce uh, sinker. I can't believe I jumped that tarpon, man. Never fish two rods, guys, that was my mistake, but there's a good chance I would've dropped them anyway. Brought a good amount of hooks with me for this reason. Uh, so what we're gonna do is I don't even think he hit the bottom. Nope. That's a shark. Yeah. That's a shark. You know who's not a shark person? Me. Definitely not. It's black tip. You know it. We both know it. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Pretty sharky that take. That's a shark. I hope he just breaks off on me. God, I hate these things. I do. Really don't like them. Gonna go back to the jig. I'm good. I'm good. I feel like I'm gonna have a long day of feeding sharks on live bait, man. I'm just
is not into it. Black tip shark. Actually gonna be safer for me to cut him. That's the safer thing to do than me trying to fuck with him at the boat. For both of us. That's okay. Um, I that was literally the first stop on that school of bait, and nothing since then. And when I switched to live bait, sharks, sharks, sharks. So we're not interested in sharks. Uh, I'm gonna head off the beach now. We're gonna do a little jigging. Uh, I don't expect much. It's overcast, so it's going to be interesting to see what kind of bite may or may not materialize out here on the jigging stuff. Uh, and then I'm probably going to stop again, look at that on the way in. Uh, we're probably going to do like a full day out here. Weather is good, and it's very fishy out here. So uh, let's see what happens, man. Here we go. Up in the fleet, baby. Oh, yeah, not a bad one at all. See ya. It's probably like 17. That's all right. Got him. Don't be the toad. We'll perform some fish surgery. He's got two hooks in him. Look at that. Jeez. That's why these things are nasty. Oh, did my best. There we go. Big fish, huh? My nuggets there. Oh boy. That's not good. Not good at all. Damn, what's the size of that thing? God, these things actually eat pretty good. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm in the mood for that. Fill that freezer up, right? Big fleet today, man. That's the fleet. All right, a couple more of these guys, and we're gonna work our way back. Cover all the bases, man. All right. White swim shad, baby. Let's give them the big stuff. A lot of 16-inch shitty fish out here. Under. Is that a cobia? Damn. That's cool. Little cool guy. Put you back, my friend. That's cool. 
little cobia. All right, so we up there checking the structure. Just two keeper flounder. there. Well, one, I, I should have netted him, but I mean, there wasn't size to those fish, 16. Uh, kept one and that short cobia, which was a nice novelty. Lots of guys catching sharks out there. Well, I was catching sharks earlier. Uh, I'm gonna look around the beach right now. Again, another round of beach cruise and I feel like that's the right call. This bait pod stuff is certainly working through numbers, man. Reminds me of up north trying to get one striper out of 50 small bluefish. Here it's trying to get something that's not a black tip shark after 50 black tip sharks. And we got lots of, you know, bluefish and all sorts of shark type souvenirs back from us. You know, not great. Not a bad day by any means. There'll be affiliate links in the video's description what we fished with. Caught some fish, so I can't complain. Kept one flounder. Well, I could have had two if I netted that other one, but, you know, I just was feeling a little meh about it. So uh, I'm going to try to find a couple poor pods. Maybe get one more runoff before calling it a day, but we'll see what happens.